They're going to be three wide coming through here as the check and flag is out. Who's going to take it? I have no idea. It's Antonelli takes it by 0 0.003 of a second. Unbelievable stuff. Lewis Hamilton wanted a long-term contract to see him to the next era of Formula One regulations. But Toto Wolff revealed that Mercedes only gave Lewis a short-term contract to guard against potentially losing a phenom driving wonder kid, Andrea Kimi Antonelli. A short ad break. 94% of viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So, please, and please, kindly subscribe to the channel and like the video. YouTube algorithm only grows channels with likes. Thank you. The relatively short contract offered and accepted by Hamilton surprised some at the time, and Toto has now explained that Mercedes was reluctant to extend Lewis Hamilton beyond next year. Recalling how he missed out on Max Verstappen in 2014, Wolf has got Mercedes gambling their future on the 17-year-old Kimi Antonelli. Wolf reiterated what he said in a response to the media in Bahrain last week, by stating that the newly vacant 2025 seat is not necessarily being saved for Antonelli, but with a view to next 5 or 10 years, I just wanted to have this option. Toto Wolf regarding the Italian's potential, said, Kimi Antonelli is a wonder kid. He won everything there was to win in karting and then moved into F4 and won all the championships in his rookie year, then moved up a level and won everything there too. Now we've decided to skip F3, partly because there's not much to test and instead go straight into F2 which is a huge leap for him. Most of the races are part of the F1 supporting program, so we'll have a good overview there too. After some digging and going through the series of events that happened last season, we came to a conclusion why Lewis Hamilton left Mercedes for Ferrari. Last season Toto Wolff dragged out Lewis's contract extension till nearly the end of the season because Toto Wolff wanted an exit clause which would allow him to drop Hamilton easily when Kimi Antonelli proves to be the next Lewis Hamilton and younger in F2 this season. The short-term contract for Hamilton at Mercedes surprised everyone in the Formula One world. But it turns out Toto Wolff was more interested in securing a seat for wonder kid Kimi Antonelli than a sit for aging Lewis Hamilton in 2026. As an elite driver what message do you get from Toto Wolff's decision? Well, the message is beyond 2026 Toto Wolff no longer needs Lewis Hamilton services in other words no sit for the 7 times world champion. So, Lewis Hamilton's decision in joining Ferrari is less complicated, Ferrari valued Lewis more than Mercedes. It is reported that Hamilton initially turned down a two-year deal worth just over $50 million per season, Ferrari chairman John Elkan leading the negotiations, which were reignited by Ferrari granting Hamilton's wish for investment into his Mission 44 organization, while further perks were sent his way. The terms agreed to by Hamilton reportedly includes a pay packet just north of $87 million for 2025, with the option to extend for 2026, a cotter of that going into funding Mission 44, while Elkan has offered to create a joint investment fund via Ferrari's parent brand EXOR, worth over $272 million, where Hamilton would serve as the ambassador for his portfolio, while on the other hand the Mercedes board had reportedly denied Hamilton's proposal to serve as an ambassador? until 2035. If you juxtapose Ferrari's offer and Mercedes' reluctant offer to Lewis Hamilton, what would you have chosen? Obviously, it has to be Ferrari, with that generous offer. Clearly Mercedes thinks Hamilton can no longer perform beyond 2025, and cutting ties now makes more sense when Kimi Antonelli is still available than when he's not, 